Visit us at Eduvo. Thank you for calling Eduvo. Welcome back, guys. In the last few lectures, uh, you noticed that my energy was um, low because of my health, and now I'm good. So your question will be that if your health is not good, then why you are teaching? So my motto is to learn more and teach more and spread more skills. So today our lectures it, a lecture is on separator in java so what is separator so you can see here a line with the new option file and option project from the file system so the line here is a separator in java so the object of separator class is used to provide a general purpose component for implementing driver lines sorry divider line it is used to draw a line to a separate widget in a layout and it is also inherited the j component class so first of all you can see here i just already import some libraries and i just take these libraries from my old lecture so you can see here java awt for event handling and then java swing dot j frame for creating the frame j menu and j menu bar and menu item here i just import one another library for java x dot swing and then i just write j menu item all right now we just go to the main function so public static void main and then here i just write a string sorry it's uh yes uh -huh. a strings arguments now i just create a j frame and here i just write frame which is equal to new j frame and then i just give it the name to the frame which is menu simple example sorry it's example all right now frame dot set default on close operations and here i just write frame dot exit on close now afterwards i just write j menu bar and here i just create the menu bar which is equal to new j menu bar okay so menu bar is an object to the j menu bar and here i just create a new j menu bar now we just turn to the file menu okay which are numeric and here j menu and which is the file menu which is equal to new j menu and here i just write file so file menu dot set mnemonic and here i just write key event and key event dot vk underscore f okay now here menu bar sorry it's a menu bar dot add and then here i just write file menu so i just call the file menu object here and then so this one okay so then i just create a new mnemonic options or a menu items for my this one uh, my this code and there here i just write j menu item and then new menu item which is equal to new j menu item and here is write new and then comma key sorry it's key event dot vk underscore n okay now file menu and file menu dot add the new menu item okay so this one so i just call this object here now i just use separator means we have the two menus like i just create these two menus and then the separator so here file menu dot add and add is separator here so this is just like a keyword which is add separator you can use add separator so j menu item which is save 
menu item which is equal to new j menu item and i just here i just write save okay now here i just write key and the key event dot vk underscore s okay now file menu dot add and the add here is save menu item so i just call this object now now frame dot set and set is j menu bar and then here i just write menu bar now frame dot set size and the size here is 350 x 250 okay and now at the last i just write frame and the frame is visible here so set visible which is true so our code is complete here and this is the menu bar but b is capital here now i just run this code and you'll get the output and here you can see we have the new file and then the separator and save file so this is the separator in j menu thanks for watching see you in next lecture if you are looking for teaching stuff education stuff programming series application and android development coding skills marketing skills presentation skills stay connected by subscribing thank you for calling eduvo